Okay, today's idea came from me recently acquiring a 30 gallons of AMS oil so I can do oil changes in all my diesel vehicles. Now, a lot of you may be asking, why do you have a 30 gallons of AMS oil? Well, I have four diesel vehicles that I need to do oil changes on. I have my Dodge Diesel, I have my Duramax Motorhome, I have my Sprinter van, and I also have my little John Deere tractor. And since AMS oil never really goes bad, yes, I know it technically does have an expiration date on it, but in all reality, if I use it over a few years' time, it doesn't really go bad. So it was more cost effective for me to buy a 30 gallon drum and utilize oil out of that versus all the little quarts that it comes in. Plus, by buying a 30 gallon drum, I'm not stuck with all the remainder quarts, empty gallon jugs when it's all done. Now, the problem I have is dispensing the oil out of the drum in a way to where I can actually monitor the oil. Uh, to put it in my engines. Historically, people have always used one of these. It's a simple hand crank pump. Most of you guys have seen these things. It relies on a suction tube, and then it has a dispenser tube on top. Now the problem with this method is, it's great for distributing the oil, but there's no way of actually monitoring the amount of oil that comes out. My plan is to utilize a metering system coupled to this rotary pump. These meters you usually see on more high-end units. Now, typically, if you want to buy a pump and a meter, usually it's an expensive setup. Like, usually you're looking at three or four hundred bucks to have a fancy electronic pump and a meter and a dispenser and stuff like that. I don't want to spend that much money. I don't want to spend three hundred bucks on something I'm not going to use that much. And I don't want to have something that's electronic that could eventually break down or whatever. So I want to be able to use my rotary barrel pump with my meter that I picked up for 30 bucks on Amazon so I can accurately distribute the amount of fluid going into each of my vehicles. The problem we have here is the pump has an inlet and an outlet. We have a one inch fine thread, straight thread inlet that goes into the pump. It's a normal one inch tube, but it relies on a fine thread, not a national coarse pipe thread. The exit of the pump is a three quarter inch straight fine thread. In other words, our, our typical national pipe threads are a coarse thread, not a fine thread, and they're also tapered. They're not a straight thread like we would see on this. Matter of fact, this is a one inch national pipe thread. You can see the same diameter, however the threads do not line up because this is a coarse thread, this is a fine thread. This is also a tapered thread like you see with pipe thread. This is actually a straight cut thread. My solution to this originally was I wanted to set this thing up to where my suction tube goes into the bottom of the meter and then I put a simple adapter or fitting to go between the meter and the pump like this. However, at my local hardware stores, I've been able, unable to find an adapter that goes from one inch national pipe thread to a one inch uh, fine thread uh, straight cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little creative here, and I'm going to create my own adapter. What I was able to find is your typical one inch uh, black iron, or this is black iron, or galvanized thread uh, reducer. This is a one inch to three quarter inch reducer. You see it threads into the back side of my meter just fine. Now the problem is I need to go from this into my pump, or the other way around. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put my suction tube on my pump like normal, but I'm gonna put the meter on the out port. And I'll show you why. Because my plan is to take this one inch reducer. I'm then gonna take the three quarter inch pipe thread, fine pipe thread that came with the kit and I'm gonna cut this down to about here, and I'm gonna weld this to the reducer like that. This will give me a one inch pipe thread that will go down to a three quarter inch thread that I can mount on the end of my pump, which will then go into my meter, and then instead of using the supplied uh, exit, pipe that came with the kit, 
I'm going to create my own out the end like that with a uh, three quarter inch nipple on the end. I have another reducer I'm using this as well. So I guess it's going to go something like this reducer, three quarter inch black iron to my pipe to create a little nozzle coming off the end. So the first step is going to be cutting down this guy to fit into the end of this guy and welding it up and seeing how it looks. So let's get started. Here is the piece I cut off. I turned it down on my lathe to make sure it's a nice flat finish. And there I also turned down the middle of the reducer. So if I put the piece inside the reducer, it's a completely even seam all the way around. And that's what it should look like when it's done and all welded up. Here's the, here's the fitting. After my less than perfect weld job, I'm going to put some silicone around it too, just to make double sure it's not going to leak. Uh, but we'll thread it in and we'll see how everything fits up. And the finished product, which as you can see here, has the barrel pump going into the meter which then comes at the top where I will eventually attach a hose to.